Hi everyone. Now, this is uh, the fly I'm going to be tying. Now, this is a. Uh, it's basically a granum. It's a granum tied in the dynamite Harry style. Uh, it was a fly I fished just yesterday, um, which I caught on. There's a good granum hatch at the moment, and this was a pattern it did for us. It, it's a quite a simple fly to tie. It sits up really high. It's a as a modern style fly. It's very unusual with it. Basically comparadon, uh, it's a dark grey fibre for the wing and post to give it the parachute. So it's, it's really simple to tie. Now the hook choice is entirely up to yourself. This is a full and mill hook I'm using. It's a, it's got a nice wide gape and it suits a like a, basically what's, this is a, it's a, like a detached bodied fly in the way, the way it's tied. Uh, but it's just it's a style and, and I find it works really well so you can manage around you can put on a standard hook you can do what you like but anyway this is a hook it's a Czech nymph uh, it's got a nice wide gape it's obviously meant for a nymph fly but it's a very good uh, dry fly hook and I like to use it and a merger hook I use it a lot for that now as you see it's a size 18 thread I'm going to be using this is the colour of the fly I'm using the uni thread AO and grey now I have waxed the thread. Now but normally in a dynamite harry in the style I would stop in line with the, the point of the hook. But to represent the egg sack I'm using some dubbing so I'm going to go come down a bit further and that is right at the back of the, the body of the, the fly and I'm just going to use a like an insect green in this case. This is it could be any type of fibre but this is some seals fur. It's quite a translucent fibre so I'm just going to lightly dub it on. So I can insert green uh, colour. So see it does represent the egg sac. So what I'm going to do is just come up a wee bit, come back down through it, and bring the thread through, and then draw in the fibre back. And that just basically thickens it up, gives it some depth. Any long fibres we can take it away. And as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a grey dubbing. This one is this one's from Fuller Mill. It's, it's a Euro Nymph dubbing, but it's a very good dry fly dubbing as well. I've used it two or three times. And this one's a dark hair's ear. It's got a wee bit of UV in it. And I like a bit of that UV in a, a dubbing. I've used it for years myself. So I'm just going to lightly dub that on. To give it, just come on to, come on to the, the green a wee bit. And then give yourself a good 4-5mm to put the wing on. You want it quite rough, so don't be shy. Just put it on, stroke it back with your fingers. There we are, that's fine. Now, the underwing, I'm using the Coq de Leon fibre. It gives it a bit of shine, support as well for the wing. Now, this is, uh, this is the, full, the, the white and Coq de Leon from the saddle. I'm going to hold it up here. Uh, so you can see what it is. It's got the Leon bronze saddle medium bardo. So it's a quite a nice colour, so dark colour it suits. It suits a lot of dry fly uh, tails as well, but it's, it suits the underwing of this fly. So don't be shy of a few fibres. Uh, don't cut it off, I tear it away once the tips have lined up. You want it quite short, you're looking at the length of the wing, but you don't want it too long. As I say, it just blends with the, into the the wing and gives it a nice shine. Now I usually rub it with my finger on the top, so I just finger on the top, draw it towards the eye of the hook. And that basically lowers it a wee bit, as you can see, it puts a wee bend here. Or a crease anyway. Wax the thread, make sure there's plenty of wax thread at this point. Now I'm going to tie in the, as you can see, this is the para post I use, it's a dark grey. Now when you take a length out, you'll find that it's kind of knottedy, well, knottedy, that's a funny word. But anyway, it's like wee twists in it like you see there, they're kind of stuck together a wee bit. Uh, and what I do is I use a, a brush, to, a toothbrush in this case, and one that's been cut back a wee bit to stiffen the fibres. And I brush it, I sit on my, my leg usually. And what happens is, eventually it comes into this 
much much manageable fiber it's much better so what I'm going to do is tie this over the back a wee bit longer than the obviously the, the, I'm going to trim it a bit so I'm going to trim it so it's in line with the microfib it's but I'm just going to put it on long at this point you want a good half dozen turns here just check it's going to be turn in front here to see what it's like now. I'm going to put a wee touch of dub in there. Same dub in I did in the body of the grey. And there. As tidy as this area up. So come forward with your thread. Wax your thread. Now I've got a natural grey cock hackle. This one here is a, from a, a white neck. So just a, fry, a dry fly neck. So just bear the some of the stem away, catch it in front. Now you want some of the bare stem to be up into the wing because you're going to post the hackle and the wing at the same time. So posting it means you just wind up both the hackle, posting both together. So basically what you're doing is you're taking the hackle up into the wing so you can wind it back down. Then this will basically form your parachute hackle. Now you want to come up enough turns that you're going to get at least three or four turns on the way down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some of this away. It's just too long. And then I'm going to wind this. So probably because we took it up, we're going to bring it down. So there's one turn, next one underneath that. Just rolling the wing out of the way. Put enough hackle on to float the fly or support the fly. Now all I do is draw these fibres back, there's the hackle, I then use these two fingers here to hold it, come in with a turn, and then I usually make sure there's a good few turns tight up against, basically there the wing is, is there, and then I can trim away the hackle, because I know it will not move, Again, a wee bit of wax on my thread, I tidy this area up with the same dubbing, I think you only need a wee drop, you don't need much. And then we wind, I usually like winding up to the hackle. Come through with the thread turns, just basically ribbing it. Varnish onto your thread. And then whip finish. And that will lock in your whip finish. A couple of fibres there, just... Trim away your thread once the whip finished. Bring up your post. Just press it so it flattens it back down. Now I trim this. You can see in the fly here. Uh, just maybe you don't want to. You want to be able to see it. Just so right there is fine. To trim the, the the wing. Just basically lift it up. Just draw the fibre back. Then from the top here you come down at an angle cut towards you'll see the, the cock to Leon fibers here. So an angle cut down towards that. And there we are. It's as simple as that. And that's the granum. That was a fly that did the damage. And uh, if you feel you your hackle may slip, what you can do is you just press this down, the post. Just flatten with your finger, just on the top, and that'll make a wee area there, just to drop in some thin varnish, so that it's soaked down in. I'll take the excess away, and then you can bring it back up, and that there will make the fly last even longer. I don't find any issue with it, it usually stays, I don't have any problems. So there we are, that's uh, Dynamite Harry tied in the Caddis style. As I say, it's just, it's, I've been experimenting with that pattern and uh, just trying different flies. I'm just trimming away the extra long fibres there. And it works a treat, so it does, really does work really, really well. So there we go. Uh, Great fly as well for support the nymph because of the style it is. But uh, I'll just put a video. You'll see me. Uh, you're actually right at the end of the video. I'll put a fish.
uh, run, uh, you'll see the fish I caught yesterday, a decent brown trout on this fly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And again, if you enjoy the videos, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, it is free. And thank you for watching. There we go. Ah, just a nice fish. It was worthwhile going down. A brown trout. How he looks it. He's kind of that to sell a bit in an island, but anyway. Oh, it's a nice fish. Look at that, it's a lovely fish. Hopefully you can see that. Gosh. There's... There you go. Wow, that's a lovely fish. A good pound in that one. So, oh, in anyway, way, brilliant. Finally, a fish. Linda Granum.